Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Arrows Season 7. I think it's episode 14, I want to say. Either way, the episode's called Brothers and Sisters. Start off with a Felicity nightmare with Diaz because she's hearing her crying baby but she can't get to it. And then she wakes up. And then we cut to where Oliver gets in touch with, tries to get in touch with William but he can't do it. I think his parents are like, uh, changing their numbers or whatever and just can't get a hold of them. So he talks to Renee and, um, about Emiko, which is his sister. And then we have the ghost team is training and it's like some pretty cool fight scenes in there. And how they're training or I guess training sequence or whatever. And then Lila, um, hit another, uh, dead end with Dante. Except for one person. And then we have a flash four scene where Mia comes clean about... Um, her stance on everything and just everything in general. And then pretty much everyone else kind of comes clean. Um, we found out that the guy that was with her was John Diggle's adopted son, which I was like, where is his real son then? And then we cut to, um, and then, so they're going to try to find Felicity. We go to the present day where Diggle tells, um, basically Oliver and Felicity about the Ghost Initiative and how they're using Diaz. And Felicity is very pissed off by that. <laughs> like, very bad. <laughs> so she sends a text and says, we need to finish what we started. And then, um, basically, um, that's to Laurel. And basically, she want, she's going to off Diaz after the mission and talks to Laurel about it. And uh, Laurel is actually not on board with this because she wanted her to set it off. But, um, she's really got this Diaz thing, and, I mean, uh, DA thing, and doesn't want to ruin it, and she, you know, she's like, no. It's not a good plan. And, um, and then she knows about the baby, because there was no drinks, no alcohol, and a ton, she'll see a ton of chocolate. <laughs> and, uh, but she won't say anything, and we got to where Oliver talks to Amiko. Then we have a flash forward scene where all the people involved in Felicity's death, like the coroner and the witness, they all off themselves, apparently. And then Mia leaves to go try and find her herself. Then we have the present day where the ghost um, initiative is on a mission. And then there's like a really cool, awesome fight scenes in there. And we find out that the guy jumped out of a window. I think his name was Virgil. And then we cut to where Lila is not happy because they, uh, he also got tipped off. And then we found out that Diaz is actually kind of afraid of Dante. <laughs> which is kind of crazy because I didn't think anyone scared him. Period. Then we cut to where Laurel brought clean food, like, you know, broccoli, vegetables, you know, stuff like that. Healthy food to Felicity. And makes her feel better about lifting her up and just encourage her and tell her what a good job she's already doing and how smart she is and this that she can do anything she puts her mind to. Then we cut to Lila and Diggle are worried and we found out that the coin, apparently Virgil left behind, had a chip in it and they're going to try to decode that with Curse's software that he left. Then we cut to where Miko got a um, hit on who or ping on whoever, on the person that's, that offed her mom. Then we cut to where Oliver is going to go instead of her because of the whole badge thing. And she's not happy about it. And so they go to the location and she shows up anyway, but Oliver arrests the guy and then Amiko's very mad about that. Then Oliver and Renee talk about Amiko at the police station and Basically, Renee says, like, you need, just need to back off and just be her brother. <laughs> and not try to control everything. <laughs> then we have a flash forward scene where William talks to Mia and they decide they'll work together. Then we go back to the present day where uh, Lila is going to resign but got info on the chip. So they're going to do one last mission before she does that. And then um, Oliver talks to Felicity and basically they're both going on the mission. And we found out that director Bill is the snitch at Argus. <laughs> and then we found out that Diaz actually shorted out the bond to 
thanks to the defibrillator that short circuited it. It's Oliver versus Dante, which was a really cool fight scene. Then Diggle uh, kills uh, Diaz because he was having a standoff against Felicity, and that was a super cool scene as well. And then Dante escaped from Oliver and Lila. And so they go back to Argus and Diggle says that he's going to resign so um, Lila can still have her job and get to the bottom of everything. Then we have Imiko talks to Oliver and they both apologize and they actually leave on a really, really good note. Then we have a flash forward scene where they got another clue and it's a mini cassette. So they have to find an old mini cassette player to hear the message. And because it was actually in a cube and Mia was like, she always says this is a cube and within a cube. And then we cut to the present day where Felicity tells Oliver about the baby and they're super excited and they hug it out. And then Amika meets with a shady guy and says that Oliver trusts her now. And then we cut to where someone set Diaz on fire. <laughs> and that's in the episode. Um, really good episode. I really enjoyed it. I gave it an A minus. Just a couple little teeny, uh, teeny tiny nitpicky things I just kind of didn't like. But anyway, I thought it was a really good episode and I thoroughly enjoyed it. The fight scenes were great. The story was great. So excited about Alicity having a kid and, you know, I, I just wonder where Oliver is in the future because they sound like like he's like long gone or something but i don't think that's the case but i just find it interesting that you know they, they said like because it sounds like mia never knew her dad so i just find it interesting and then we find out that will never hadn't talked to um oliver or felicity either and that was probably because of the grandparents because we saw that he was trying to reach out and was trying to do stuff, but he just wasn't getting anywhere. But anyway, I thought it was a really enjoyable episode and can't wait for next week. And I'll see you all in the next video. So comment down below, tell me what you think, uh, subscribe, and I'll see y'all, like I said, in the next video. Bye.